Google has launched a new update within Google Chat. Now in Spaces, which were formerly known as Rooms, you can have inline threading. Let's go ahead and dive deeper about this amazing update. I am currently inside my Gmail. And inside Gmail is the integrated workspace. Just a friendly reminder, this is where you access your Gmail, your chat, your spaces, and your Meet. Our topic and our feature is regarding the chat spaces. Please keep in mind, you can access your chat spaces also through chat.google or using the progressive web app of chat.google. With that, we're gonna focus on the feature update. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new space so you're aware of the changes there as well with this update. I'm gonna go ahead and click new space. I'm gonna go ahead and select create a space. You can go ahead and give your space name and you can add an emoji, add a description, enter your members of the space. Then you have some options to select from. These following two options are important as you proceed. And also think of the purpose of this space. How are you going to use it? Maybe at the current time, but also looking ahead and how do you plan on using this space? First thing, the space is restricted, meaning only the members of the space would have access to this particular area, this space. Or you can open it up and allow people in the state of Iowa that have a Google account to join. With that being said, you also maybe want to make the conscious decision, do you want people outside the organization to join? Keep in mind, to have access to a chat space, they have to have a Google account. So again, think outside the box on that, but regardless, you want to make that decision now. The thing that also has changed with this update is advanced. You'll notice if you click on advanced and expand that, there's an option to organize the conversation by topic. This was another name prior to this update, but I'm gonna strongly discourage you to maybe select organize by this topic as in the update that's posted in the video in the description below. In 2023, this will not be an option. So again, maybe not even use that option. So again, the default will be the inline threading, which we'll talk about more here shortly. So again, I just wanna show you um, of the different options when creating a space. I also encourage you to check out the one pager to see the um, more information regarding creating a space and best practices. Let's talk more about the inline threading. I'm currently in a chat space that's called demo inline threading, the green space icon next to the word demo. With that, you can see there's a conversation going here between trainer 13 and a few replies. This is an example of inline threading. You're probably used to this in many mobile device areas, but if you click on the two replies, you will see the conversation regarding that topic. It's in line with that particular conversation. So I can reply back to this and say, perfect. It is now going to add three replies to that conversation. I can always start a new conversation down here and say, new conversation. And then I can have another user reply to this. Now, how do you do that? You can just hover over the conversation and you'll see a message icon and it'll let you reply in this thread, inline threading, get it? So I could go ahead and say, awesome. And now you can see there's reply. Now, what's the difference between inline threading and conversation threading. Again, I'm not going to spend much time on the conversation threading because that's going to be going away in the future and the default will always be inline threading. So we might as well get used to what I just showed you. But some of us have created conversation threading within our chat spaces at the current time. So what conversation threading is, is conversation topic is that you can see that you have a new topic that you can bring down here. You click on new topic it is like another entire different box. So I could say new topic. As you can see, it's all blocked together in one area for that particular new topic. The other thing I wanted to point out in inline threading is something that you can do. If this is a conversation that you're really interested in, you can always click on the reply and you have the option to follow or unfollow that conversation. I also, before I end this training, I do wanna strongly recommend to check out the resources posted below to learn more about this amazing update. Thank you.